The new 13th Drift Expedition in No Man's Sky has some awesome rewards, and today I've prepared a guide on how to finish it in less than 4 hours. Fast and efficient. Mm. This is aiming for gaming, and today we're aiming for efficient gaming. Start your expedition by documenting everything around and mining basic resources such as carbon and oxygen. Visit the large tree-like structures to spawn hungering tendrils and defeat 8 of them to complete the Steal the Hunger milestone. Collect the vile spawns they drop. Mine some copper to repair your ship and process it into chromatic metal later. Reach your starship to finish the Alone in the Dark milestone. Get the reward for this milestone and unlock the advanced mining laser technology. Install it to complete the From the Ashes milestone. Now you can mine large resource nodes. Install a personal refiner MK2 to complete the Self-Reliance milestone. Process ferrite dust into pure ferrite and run around the planet collecting laurel cores. These will spawn hostile insects, but due to the low atmosphere you can ignore them and continue collecting resources. You can also mine magnetized ferrite from nodes. Once you collect cores from 16 whispering eggs, you'll finish the steering the nest milestone. Return to your ship and repair its modules to finish the make, do and mend milestone. If you don't have deuterium, refine silicate powder with dehydrogen. Process your laurel cores into nanites and leave the planet to complete an unlikely escape milestone. Find asteroids and destroy 40 of them to get some tritium and finish the Vault of Rock and Ice milestone. Visit the space station and check its rooms to complete the Lights Out milestone. Sell cookies from quest rewards and whatever you obtain from the hungering tendrils. Don't sell the eye from your ship's storage. Warp to another system to finish the Independent People milestone. From now on, always identify plants and animals and kill hazardous flora. Activate waypoints at points of interest and collect nanites. Once you get 1600 nanites, you'll finish the Quantum Foam milestone. Find a planet with the Ancient Bones trait and collect 8 bones to finish the Bones to Dust milestone. Follow the path to the Rendezvous 1 location and land on the tallest mountain near the destination mark to complete the All That You Survey milestone. Then visit the location itself to finish the Rendezvous 1 milestone. Destroying 9 hazardous flora will complete the In the Weeds milestone. Use a signal booster to find points of interest related to your active milestones. Once you travel 9000 units, you'll finish the Time on your feet milestone. Interacting with a communication tower, which you can find with a signal booster, completes the faintest echo milestone. Process haptoploid wheat you find on planets into floor, and phaesum you get from quests into wild yeast. Combine them to get dough, then process it to get bread and finish the My Bread Alone milestone. Sell all your bones at the nearest station to get a lot of credits. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, lending your precious like would be my best reward. Find a planet with a dissonance detected trait, collect 99 antlatidium and 3 radiant shards. The latter will complete the Call of the Void milestone. Once you document 21 new plants, the Life Reimagined milestone will be finished. Activate the Abandonment milestone and use a signal booster to find a damaged ship. Restore it to finish the milestone. Discovering 32 species will finish the Not Alone milestone for you. Mine 64 activated copper from any planet, summon it, visit the space anomaly, visit its main terminal, craft and install the mine dark, then visit the portal it navigates to. This will complete the Amidst the Stars milestone. Buy wiring looms and install all drives, recipes obtained from the previous milestones for free. Mine cadmium from a red star system and emerald from a green star system. Then activate the It's Alive milestone and visit blue systems until you notice a message saying that there are synthetic creatures on a nearby world. Find a planet they are living and document three of them to finish this milestone. Activate the Rendezvous 2 milestone and visit the marked location to complete it. Activate the To Dream of Stars milestone, approach the void and watch a cutscene to finish it. Activate the Rendezvous 3 milestone and visit the marked location to complete it. Once you activate 12 waypoints, you'll finish the Science to Nowhere milestone. Discover 5 ancient ruins with the help of a signal booster to finish the Nameless History milestone. Collect 12 crystal sulfides from any planet with an ocean to finish the Lure of the Deep milestone. Mine 100 salt or synthesize it from oxygen and dehydrogen. Build a Nautilon, install a high power sonar and search for a sunken freighter. Visiting its core will complete the Thedoms Below milestone. Use the receiver you get as a reward from a milestone, activate your pulse drive and follow the questline to locate a derelict freighter. 
Finish this mini dungeon to complete the Dereliction Milestone. Activate the To Dream of Freedom Milestone, approach the Void and watch a cutscene to finish it. Activate the Rendezvous 4 Milestone and visit the marked location to complete it. Use a Signal Booster to find a Reality Bridge and finish the Ghost in the Machine Milestone. Look at the stars for 60 seconds to finish the A Still Small Voice Milestone. Activate the To Dream of Sleep Milestone, approach the Void and watch a cutscene to finish it. Activate the Rendezvous 5 milestone and visit the marked location to complete it. Visit the Expedition Terminal at the Space Anomaly and get your final reward. Transfer whatever you want to keep to the main safe, finish the expedition, return to your main safe and enjoy your awesome rewards. I hope with this guide you have achieved what you were aiming for today. For more guides, simply visit my channel and consider subscribing. It's that easy. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.